I'm a big fan of Mahara, uh, and that's not just because uh, I was born in New Zealand. Do we have many Mahara people with Mahara in their institutions? Yay, lots of hands. Uh, we've seen usage at Queen Mary grow and grow um, over the seven years that we've had Mahara. Um, nowadays, uh, we're seeing a lot of interest around degree apprenticeships with the uh, smart evidence in Mahara, and we're seeing um, a lot of work in one of our Chinese uh, universities in Xi'an um, with personal development planning, and also um, lang in our language center, our foundation courses use Mahara a lot. So there's quite a lot of activity going on in Mahara. And one of the things that our students are always talking about at Queen Mary is, can you please make things more integrated? Can you make things more seamless? Can you make things work together better? And um, you know, when we've got a system here called Mahara. How do we? Oh yeah. yeah, we got. <laughs> We've got a uh, we've got a setup here where um, in one system, you know, a friend posts on your wall in Mahara, and uh, and you know you notice it five months later and respond to it, um, or you know you keep having to log into Mahara to to see if you've got feedback on something that you're waiting to receive feedback on on a Mahara page. Um, and, and to get into Mahara, you're having to go through Moodle um, to log in. So there's a lot of clicks to even get to the place where you're waiting to see if you've got any feedback. And um, you know, uh, your mates in your Mahara group that you're working on, working on something in um, are sending you messages, but actually you're not getting those messages very quickly. So quite a few issues here. So the issue also comes down to the fact that Moodle and Mahara both have their own notification systems because they're designed to be standalone. And there is not actually much in the way of integration at the moment for bringing notifications across between systems. I don't quite know why, because this seems like an obvious thing to actually do. But you get inboxes, you get notifications, all these different apps have this. So Queen Marion and we sat down and said, how can we fix this? How can we bring all the notifications into one place? And so what we do, we funnel notifications as they're generated in Mahara, we funnel them to the Moodle. Because everyone's going to go through Moodle, everyone's going to see their notifications for everything in their digital life, that is in their student world. And by bringing everything into the Moodle, we know they're going to see it, we know they're going to go, oh, there's my activity. Now maybe they're not going to deal with it right now, but they know it's there, they can go and see, and they can go and integrate and activate and do things. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, so doing this means that uh, we think that it brings everything into one place, which fits in with uh, the modern expectations for UXs. And, um, and what we're also noticing is that uh, we're seeing an increase in student engagement because uh, they're now getting their notifications more clearly in the uh, Moodle notifications bar. And uh, you know, research at our institution would suggest they're logging into Moodle five or six times a day. And uh, we've got a, a major institutional initiative where all first year students are starting to engage with the e-portfolio. And, uh, and we're also seeing a slight increase, although it's only been uh, two months since we've done this integration, uh, with the amount of activity going on in the ePortfolio. But this is not really the, the end of the journey. So far we have web services talking between um, the Moodle and Mahara to get notifications in one place, but there's more we can do. Yes, we can bring more calls to action from Mahara into Moodle. We've talked about bringing assignments that you would normally just do in the Mahara, or reflection activities you would do in the Mahara, and surfacing those in Moodle. Exactly how it's going to shape up, we don't know yet, because we're still looking at what can be done and what the student needs are. But there's certainly more integration that you can do than is done today. And we're still kind of almost at the start of the journey of what we can actually do with this. But notifications was the very first step for us, and bringing that to where users can actually use it. 
yeah, I, I only wanted to add that things like feedback, uh, being able to push your feedback back to uh, uh, from Moodle into Mahara and reflect on it um, would be another area that I think we could work on. Um, maybe even uh, pushing feedback from Mahara into the Moodle uh, gradebook in some way or another. Um, I think you've just mentioned adding a reflective activity within the Moodle activities picker would be a really good idea to um, uh, integrate the two better and potentially uh, something we've already designed uh, with Catalyst um, but which we could roll out is uh, the ability to set up your Moodle groups that you've already set up in your course area in Moodle that you can just push straight into Mahara so they're auto created for you to save time. So those are the kind of things that we think would be a really good idea. And to preempt your question, uh, we are about to release this to to the community. <laughs> yeah, so there's, there needs to be some work done on the Mahara side to actually support functionality that we need. But I've been talking to Christina about this. I'm going to try and roll this out for 1910. So this will be available in theory from 1910. So anyone got any questions for us? Anything we can help with? You just preempted my role there, Peter, but uh, yes. Raise your hand in the air if you'd like to ask a question. If not, time for lunch. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. It is indeed time for lunch, so walk, don't run to...